to the sculptor Harry Weber. Uh, I became aware of him when he did the statuary for the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. It brought so much life to those figures that it was no, there was no choice. It was, uh, so his uh, studio is located in Wright City, Missouri. It's above Washington, Missouri, near St. Louis. And today we're gonna to go view the maquette. That's a new word that I learned, and that means miniature of a statue. So we're gonna look at the clay model of a seated 21-year-old Elvis Presley listening to a 10-year-old John Wilkinson play guitar for him. Because he told Elvis in 1956 he couldn't play guitar worth a damn. So we're gonna view the statue and also let Terry Wilkinson, John's wife, meet him so she can uh, get a sense of how talented and how wonderful this guy is. I think it's comical to have the, the entire huge water tower that says bourbon on it, but I can just an imagination see him down there with cups and saucers and anything that would hold bourbon below the water tower. <laughs> this is one big river. I would say. Across the wide Missouri. Telephone. Yes? All right. Hello? Hello? Hello, Ted? Yes? It's Harry Weber. Yes, Harry Weber. I'm on your gravel road on Raymond coming at you. Okay. All right. Terrific. We'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks yes. a lot. All right. I think this is it. There it is. Bronze Fox Farm. Okay. I guess that because I remembered from our last visit. That's a coyote from the Lewis and Clark piece that we did downtown. Oh, neat. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for so making wonderful. the trip all the way up. Oh, here. yes. This is Lissa. She's a little wacky. Oh, good. This is I Terry. Enjoy wacky. And she is the wife she's... of John Wilkinson. Oh, terrific. How are you? Good to... Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you want some coffee or anything? Some tea? Uh, I found it on eBay for 600 bucks. Oh my God. Most of them were selling for 2000 to $7,000. Oh my God. So, and, uh, so it, has, it has a set of finger picks in there because John said in his interview he used a set of banjo finger picks to show oh, really? Elvis. With, yeah, with three or four. Oh, so I should put those on the statue. Yeah, that's why I brought okay. a set of those. Great. All right, I don't know make, how to put them on. We'll make that adjustment. But <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you saw a picture of that thing that was in the Drury Plaza with all those figures on it, mm -hmm. of Lewis and Clark, this was the maquette or the small model that we did for that, which is what you're going to see of your husband and Elvis is the called a maquette, which is a fancy French word for small model, which makes us seem more like artists when we use it. Oh yeah. Step this way, please. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Uh, we're still refining it, so don't don't worry about <laughs> making any comments. We can change it any way you want. Yeah, you're really close on his face for sure. Oh, well, it's nice to have the pictures. Oh yeah. I dressed him the way I dressed when I was his age. Uh huh. Just in blue jeans and a shirt. Yeah, there's a lot of blue jeans and t-shirts, that's for sure. Great, great work. For all the statues you've seen of Elvis and all the memories of him, I, I think people lose track of what he was like when he was a young musician. And I think the idea that he was incredibly patient with this young man who was basically giving him guitar lessons is a wonderful story. And uh, so I, I love trying to get the human side of the young Elvis there, not all spangled up, but dressed in blue jeans and an open collared shirt.
taking lessons from this 10-year-old kid, which I thought was a wonderful story, and I'd never heard it before. This is certainly the first one I think of Elvis ever sitting down, uh, which is a, a different take on Elvis, a relaxed Elvis, which I kind of like the idea of that. Normally, I'm commissioned by people who are spending other people's money. Uh, corporations and sports teams and cities and foundations. Uh, this is entirely the work and passion of uh, Ted Hutchinson, who is trying to get this done simply because he loves the idea of John Wilkerson and he loves the idea of Elvis and he loves the two of them together and he wants to commemorate it. And it's, it's actually a very... Uh, a heartwarming commission, I guess you'd call it. It's uh, a little bit of a labor of love. They all are, but this one's kind of special. I thought it was very expressive of the pictures I've seen of John and, you know, of, of Elvis. As he said, the details would come later in the fine tuning, but uh, I, I thought it was wonderful. I, I was totally surprised and uh, it was, I think it was spectacular. Terry, what did you think of the John's posture and everything? I think it, he showed it the way John would be standing with John's attitude, you know? Just yeah, he <laughs> thought a lot of himself. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he was pretty sure he was going to be famous, and now yeah. we've, we've made him, or we've cemented him. He'd look in the mirror and say, you good-looking son of a bitch, don't <laughs> you ever die. <laughs> <laughs>